Huya. The higher, greater aspect of the vessel of Yara will greet you with so much love. Now, we wanted to actually make you aware again what formidable creators you are. And many of you will be actually scratching their heads and thinking, no, we are feeling completely paralyzed. In a certain inertia, actually. And so we see it. You are for the moment in a frame of mind that everything is happening upon you that you have nothing to do with the so-called creation, with your current world or paradigm. Call it what you want. It's your creation and your collective, collective creation that come into frequency match, particularly at this current moment. You have rarely in your what he term past linear years worked together as humanity so formidably. Yet you are all feeling so put upon. You are feeling that you have nothing to do with this situation. But we'd like to remind you again that you are creating your reality and thus your world from moment to moment. Hence, you have also created this situation now. Yet what you are not seeing right now is that this is the start and also an end. But endings and beginnings are in a certain way the same thing. When you look at your infinity loop, it is in a certain way similar. We could say, yes, you're ending something, but at the same time you're beginning something. So is it an ending? Is it a beginning? It is both. But you must now understand or begin to understand that you are largely responsible for this huge change. Many of you, many of you, over many, many moments of your now have been yearning for change. Yearning is the beginning of something forming. We'd like to remind you that in order to create, and you doing this, as we say, as you go, you need a thought. You need a thought coupled with emotion, intention of focus. And this is the recipe for your creation. You are not aware within your third density as such, though many more are becoming far more aware of it. As you are gradually moving towards fourth density, you are far more aware of your creation as you are becoming mindful of your thoughts. So many of you are wondering, is this the start of a new world or paradigm? What would you say if we told you right now that you yourselves have brought about this situation and thus the beginning or the end, but a step towards change? You have set yourself now the stage for change, or rather let us say to take the opportunity for change. You have as such created for yourselves as humanity as a whole a, let us say, situation or moment in the now where you can seize 
the moment or the opportunity for change. Again, we feel this resistance as these words are on a vibrational level hitting you, so to speak. That you are as such the creator of what you term for the moment this global pandemic. It is actually not about the pandem pandemic. It is about your confinement. This is the importance. Through your confinement, with or without your families. We say again, you are thrown back onto yourselves. You are thrown as such. Or we say, you feel thrown into a situation of isolation, into a situation where you have to start really thinking about what your world is like and what has it come to and what could be possibly done. You are at the moment at the stage, where have we come to? Not as such accepting responsibility that you are actually creators of this. It is also, yes, it is a hard piece to swallow, but from our perspective, there is no right or wrong. What is important, again, we say that you have set the stage for change or let us say the opportunity for change. Many of you are feeling this now, feeling this potential. Many of you are stunned in inertia or in a state of inertia. But if you start listening deep within yourself, haven't you also heard the cry for change? The disquieting feeling that something as such needs to change or you would love to embrace change. It has started there. It has started where there was momentum. As we say, there have been many that have been preparing for this. That have been working towards this and that are completely stunned that it takes this particular shape as it is taking now in your humanity or your collective creation. You only make it as bad as you want to make it bad, so to speak. Or you can see the opportunity for change. We say, Seize this moment, seize this moment and examine and think that in a certain way, yes, you're longing for your old way of life where you have movement. You have as such confined yourselves. And this confinement is a necessary one. It is the first step to change. Now, you're wondering why there are so many deaths. And we say again, your innate fear of death, of this unknown, is again rife. But we want to remind you, for the ones that are as such leaving this particular plane of existence, it is their choice. It is not something they were forced into. It was or is their choice. And for them, we could say it is a new beginning. You are seeing this as an end. But this is also one of your fear programs that are, you are going to gradually let go of. And this is also that moment. You are for the moment really confronted with particular fears or existential fears. As you are as such no more the spectators from the comfort of your own homes. Any longer. You are in the midst of it. Thus you have to start to really 
integrate the situation or look at the situation also your own situation situation of your family of your dear ones but it is your opportunity to embrace change many of you are feeling this as something very positive or it has a positive outcome start to look at it in that way and never forget you are the author and co-authors of all your realities and all your worlds including this one and look at it as making the best of it and embracing change as there is a fundamentally huge potential for you to grab the opportunity for change. You are for formidable creators, always remember that. And you will make it through this as many other as such situations as you call them or crises or pandemics epidemics no matter what calamity name you want to give it but by giving it a calamitous name you feed it calamitous emotion and thought why not call it your biggest opportunity for change and positive change we're going to leave this transmission at that. We love you so much as creation is love. Also creation is change or can be change. We love you so much. Goodbye. We love you.